the phrase in tennis that tennis is 90% mental and 10% physical. When you're first starting out, it's the reverse. But once you get into this level, it really comes down to the mind. Strength of mind, strength of body. It's a tough formula for any athlete to achieve, and physical limitations require an even greater presence of mind. For Anna Dollar, the path toward excellence was a challenging and at times a lonely one, especially growing up as a missionary kid in Ukraine. For me, I'm not super tall, I'm not super fast, I'm not super big. There it's either like you train to be professional or you don't play at all. <laughs> there was a point where I really, really did not like tennis and like I wanted to quit. I just didn't see what the point was, like I wanted to be with friends. I was like, what? why am I playing tennis? Like it's so lonely and boring. After a year-long furlough back in the States, Anna's family returned to Ukraine. There, she found a renewed interest in tennis. After we moved back to Ukraine, uh, I started training a lot, working really hard. She's a hard worker, she really does. She puts a lot of effort into it. She's definitely someone who does not shy away from hard work. When you're winning, more it's like more fun <laughs> and so like after I was getting good results I just got like obsessed with it. As her game improved so did her obsession. Anna started to gain experience at higher and higher levels traveling around the globe to compete in tournaments. One of the th good things about Anna is that she has a lot of experience playing competitive tennis. She's traveled all over the world. She's played tennis in multiple countries against multiple styles of opponents and so I think she came here with a, uh, just a sense of confidence. She brought a tremendous amount of experience to Liberty and it wasn't something she had to develop as much as, as uh, just kind of enhance other parts of her game. With all her success, she experienced pressure from several sponsors to go pro. However, she decided to take a different route, one that led her to playing for Liberty University and to being on a team for the first time. Coming from junior tennis to college tennis is always a transition for everybody, whether they played high school tennis or not. Uh, for her, it did take some transition time, but she transitioned pretty quickly. Uh, she's very personable, uh, she's very uh, outgoing, and so I think the girls gravitated towards her. She's definitely not an introvert, she's more of an extrovert, and so I think that helps when you're joining a team. Uh, she was able to kind of, just in terms of personalities, she was able to uh, adapt pretty well. I think I, I'm liking it even more after coming here just because I'm on a team and for the first time it's not only like about me, it's about your teammates, your friendships with them, how much you want to win, it's about passion. Passion that strengthens the heart of a true athlete and perfects the formula to achieve success. Strength of mind, strength of body, and strength of heart. There has to be passion. You have to really enjoy what you're doing and it has to come out. And Anna does that. And I think that's really important. You know, it shows how much she cares and her teammates see that. She's able to get that positive flow and that positive energy on her court. And her teammate next to her can see that, sees how passionate she is on the court and how much she wants to win and how much she's willing to battle and lay it on the line. And then that, that inspires her teammate next to her. And then she can do the same to her teammate on the other side. So that transference of energy is important and Anna does a good job of that. I just play with heart and passion and for, for the greater good and his glory. I see Anna taking another step as a sophomore. She's gonna have a little more leadership. She's gonna be a little more driven. And I know that us losing in the final of the conference really motivated her. I have high expectations and very excited about what we're gonna be able to accomplish next year.